Hey guys, this is Alan from Extreme Reviews with another review of the Samsung Dart from T-Mobile which came out on June 15th and I got it earlier yesterday. I've already made an unboxing for it so make sure you check that out and let's get started. So, uh, on the side it has the volume keys right here. And you can feel them. Uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack the charging port power button and the micro SD card it includes a 2 gig micro SD card and nothing and there are four capacitive buttons Samsung and the 2.2 screen so let's get started the phone is very very light so that's one really good thing I really like about this phone and let me show you how the games run on this really quick It loads. Hopefully, it's good. I haven't really tested Angry Birds out yet. As you can see, the speaker is great. Everything is clear and crisp. Not too loud. Not too low. So let's see. Let's, let's do this again. Okay, let's go next. Loading, 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 loading. Okay. There you go. The screen, uh, the camera doesn't do it justice because I don't have the massive camera, but the screen actually looks really, really, really nice. So that's one good thing. Let me just show you how smooth it is. Look at that. It's really smooth. So, yeah, let me show you the pinch to zoom options on the game itself. Let me just restart it, I guess. As you can see, you can. On the other ones, you can, I don't know why it's not allowing me to, but oh well. Let, let me show you some other stuff. Let me show you the camera. It's only a 3 megapixel camera, so it's nothing great. So let me show you some of the pictures I'm about to take. I'm just going to take a picture of my remote. Oh, no, sorry about that. Let me show you a picture of my remote, and let me show you how that looks. I think it's autofocus, I'm not sure. going but you can't really see I have no lighting in my room whatsoever but I tested the camera now it's pretty good for 3 megapixel camera and, and it has autofocus so you can't go wrong really. one thing I don't like is when you touch the capacity uh, buttons it doesn't have any type of feedback so when you click it I can't tell if uh, I'm clicking it so that's one bad thing I don't like let me show you the browser Not the gmail the web browser YouTube, let me show you guys how YouTube looks. I'm hoping Flash works on this. Uh, let's see. Let me go to the desktop version. Oh, I'm already on desktop. Uh, it says I need Adobe. Oh, it's right there. So I'm gonna need to get that. Uh, I try to find it, but I can't really find it on here, so I'm gonna, I might have to sideload it from the internet. So that's one bad thing, but I think it has pinch to zoom. Yeah, it has pinch to zoom. It works perfectly, and it has tap. It's not as smooth as you would find on a 1 gigahertz phone, like the G2X or the G2 or one of the high end phones. This is a low end Android phone. So, yeah. Now, let me show you the YouTube actual player. Let me show you the quality of the videos. I'm not just gonna find something else. I'm just gonna click on this. Chris Brown and Justin Bieber. That's a commercial. Everyone hates those annoying commercials. Let me just wait. But as you can see, the quality is pretty good, even for a low-end Android phone. That's one good thing. It only has 600 megahertz processor. Let's just click on quality and see what it does. Yeah, it's not that big of a difference, but it's pretty nice quality, and you could change it like that. So that's one good thing.
And another thing I like about it, this thing is the notification. See, you can show you my music, auto rotation. That's one thing I like. Silent GPS, off and Wi-Fi, and all my notifications. Now let me show you what I'm having to show you guys. Be the music player. I only have one song. I just test song right here. So let me just show you. As you can see, the speakers are really, really nice. No cracking. No nothing. Beautiful speakers. It sounds even great when you put headphones in. That's good. It has 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. One thing I don't like is Samsung devices include headphones, but this one doesn't. So, one th that's one thing I really did not like at all, whatsoever. And that's it. Uh, I would recommend buying this phone for the price of free because it's free, so it's really good. And all you need is really a ten dollar data plan, so you're not gonna have to pay too much for it. Like if you got like a new Android phone, you most likely have to pay thirty dollars if you want a four G one, which gets pretty it over a certain period of time but guys thanks for watching and subscribe all right peace out